Yeah, hello YouTube, and welcome to GoGo Gaming's coverage of the game, Our Gage. On this channel, I'll be covering housing, farming, crafting, auction house use, and trading. In this video, I'm just going to go over the additions that were made to the game since the conquest of Aurora went live, which was yesterday. Unfortunately, I didn't get on yesterday because there was an issue. There were a bunch of us that didn't get on yesterday, but I'm on today, so ta-da. Since I'm here, I'm just going to verify the fact that the Arkham Tree Sapling's sellback price is 10 copper, and indeed it is, down from 1 gold. Still costs you 3 Guild Stars to buy one, so if you're wondering how much those Arkham Trees cost, there you go! 3 Guild Stars. Next, I'm just going to walk, run over here for show to where the farm wagon is. The farm wagon will still cost you 50 Guild Stars. Ta da 50 Guild Stars. But, yep. if you, and it still looks the same, but if you go into the folio now and type in farm wagon, it does have the addition of the farm cart scroll. Please note, I've checked. All the other materials are the exact same as they were in Alpha. The strong wheel, four of those, the solid shaft. With the, by the way, the strong wheels will cost you four Archeum logs for two. The solid shaft will cost you two Thunderstruck. I'm only going through the, the particularly pricey mats. Two. Thunderstruck trees, not logs, trees, plus the Sunridge ingot, and the high power engine will cost you five flaming logs, which to my understanding are obtained in a very, oh, interesting mechanic where you have to carry up some, you have to find one, you have to find a flaming tree in Aurora and then get some mineral water and put it out all the while dodging people trying to kill you and I guess do the same thing so yeah but long story short we are now paying more for the farm wagon than we did in Alpha now I'm standing where you would normally pick up the storage chest the recipes for the storage chest and I still only see two I see the basic storage chest and the superior storage chest in my beta video I talked about how I did not like the mats I thought for what you got that the mats were way overpriced because for the basic storage chest which only gave you 10 storage slots and required a handicraft proficiency of 10,000 which is high this is not an easy thing to get and the superior storage chest, which only gave you 20 storage slots and had a 20,000 proficiency. And by the way, for a house, you cannot, you can only have two storage chests in a house. You can have, I think, three in a luxury house. And I believe you can only have two in a farmhouse as well. I know I only have two in mine. I haven't attempted to put a third one in there. I might just for fun, but... I think you can only have two storage chests in a farmhouse. I know you can only have two in a regular house, and it's only when you get to the luxury houses. And I'm not 100% sure. No, I am. For the townhouse, you can definitely have three. For And that's a 24 by 24. Not sure about the manor house, which is also 24 by 24, but it only costs you 100 Guild of Stars, whereas the townhouse costs you 150. So, anyway, but... My issue, besides the proficiency, is the mats. The mats for the superior storage chest are double, with the exception of the infused oil, double that of the basic storage chest. You need 5 fine lumber for the basic and 10 for the superior, but here's the kicker. The 10 pieces of lumber isn't the issue. It's the small seed oil that's the issue because you need three star cold charcoal stabilizers to make the small seed oil plus some other stuff, which is easy to get. But the charcoal stabilizers 
are a pain in the butt to get and you need three of them so that's either several trips over to the other side or a not too cheap trip to the auction house in order to get the materials just to get 10 storage slots or 20 storage slots respectively so I do not have high hopes for the illustrious storage storage shed plus the emulsified oil which also takes a trip across the pond or to the auction house in order to get some crystal stabilizers so there you have it the illustrious storage chest which I'm surprised does not have a proficiency going back see 10,000 20,000 none you're freaking kidding me two spacious storage chests you buy these off of the um, cash shop there are 50 slot chests you buy them off I'll show you you buy them off the cash shop Spacious storage chest, which is 895 credits. So buy two of these either from the cash shop or off the auction house from somebody who has bought it yeah. from the cash shop and put it on the auction house. Buy two of them, go to a crafting bench, shove them together, and lose slots but if you put two in your house obviously you gain 80 versus 50 times two so instead of a hundred you have 160 slots to deal with so 60 extra slots for the price of spacious storage chests, which are 895 credits on the cash shop. No comment. And normally I don't cover gliders on the channel because they have nothing to do with housing, farming, crafting, auction house user trading. But they are cool, and I did mention them as part of the update. So here we are. These are the gliders. This is the Red Dragon glider, 150 Gilda Stars. I'm guessing they all cut off 150 Gilda Stars. Yeah, the Thunderbolt glider, which reminds me of an episode of Star Trek Deep Space Nine when they did the solar, the solar thing. It was Cisco and his son. They went to Cardassia. Look it up. Anyway, <laughs> this is the Ezzy glider. Looks like a giant butterfly. And then the Moon Shadow Glider. So they're all 150 Gilda Stars. They all look different. Let's have a look and see. I don't know what they were originally that they had to quote unquote rebalance them. But as you can see, or you will see, they all have the same basic stats. So all of them have high flight and fight flight to speed and gliding ability and all have moderate turning and initial speed. It's a special skill that's the difference. So the Ezzy glider is invincible flight. Moon shadow is shadow flight. Red dragon is dive bomb and bombard or I'm sorry, thunderbolt is bombard. I find out what those are, I'll put them in a note, in an annotation or a comment, because I, I don't know. I'm more
more than satisfied with my <coughs> Patron Glider, which has the same stuff, and I got it as a Patron bonus, and my special skill is Somersault. The only one that I might be interested in is the Invincible, which sounds like you wouldn't be able to be knocked off your mount, but if you saw the description, it said you could be knocked off your glider. So, I don't know. I'll, I'll do some checking and see what I can find. Although, sometimes that can actually give more questions than answers. <laughs> So those are all of the additions, aside from housing, of course, over on Aurora. But I'm not going to cover that because I don't have any. So, <laughs> so I'm not going to cover it. Not going to do it. I might do it in a later video. Who knows? But not doing it today. Not sure what's going on over there. I have to talk to my guildmates and see what what the what the deal is because a couple of them at least got on last night. Most of us did not, so. Oh, well. Please like, subscribe, tell a friend, and thank you for watching Go Girl Gaming's coverage of the game Arcage.